Good morning, friends, and welcome to Thursday, June 17th. Harold Durfee will start us off with Because He Lives. Thursday devotion is from the Upper Room Discipline, written by Claire Keane. And our scripture this morning is Mark 4, 35 to 41. And on that day, when evening had come, he said to them, let us go across to the other side. After leaving the crowd behind, he took them with him in the boat, just as he was. Other boats were with them, and a great windstorm arose, and the waves beat into the boat, so that the boat was already being swamped. But he was in the stern, asleep on the cushion, and they woke him up and said to him, Teacher, do you not care that we are perishing? He woke up and rebuked the wind and said to the sea, Peace, be still. And then the wind ceased, and there was a dead calm. And he said to them, Why are you afraid? Have you still no faith? And they were filled with great awe and said to one another, Who then is this, that even the wind and the sea obey him? The word of God for the people of God. Thanks be to God. What is it about storms in the evening? They're so much more frightening than storms in the middle of the day. Our creaturely vulnerability takes over at sundown. With daylight gone, we put down our strength and obey our fatigue. We reward ourselves with food and drink and wrap company and shelter around us. We want to just rest, comfort, and security. Jesus certainly has that impulse on Mark's gospel. Since his baptism in the Jordan and the temptations in the wilderness, Jesus has traveled and taught and healed all over in Galilee, in Capernaum, and in grain fields, in the synagogue by the sea, where crowds press in upon him, up on the mountain, back in Capernaum again, back again at the seaside, teaching parable after parable to the crowds. No wonder that when evening comes, he escapes by boat. No wonder he falls asleep. But they're headed for Gentile territory. It's night after a long day and the disciples are on duty without their master. Water becomes choppy. Wind howls, raising ever taller waves that begin to swamp the boat. And the disciples shout, Teacher, do you not care that we are perishing? Though they are able fishermen, their trust is instantly gone, as if Jesus has abandoned ship. They don't just ask for his help. They leap to blame him for infidelity. Don't you even care about us? A little fear, and they're angry. A little fear, and they act as if Jesus has betrayed them. A little fear, a little darkness, and they act as if the storm threatens them alone not their sleeping rabbi. In a storm of fear and darkness, their love, our love, disappears. But when Jesus commands our storm to stop, 
Could it be that we are more terrified? Perhaps we wanted rest, comfort, and security, not the Almighty beside us in the darkness on the deep. Let us pray. From fear's treachery, good Lord, deliver us. Teach us to trust that love is behind your power. Amen. Our closing hymn is Be Still My Soul. Be still my soul, the Lord is on your side. There patiently the cross of grief or pain. If it to God, your order and provide in every change, God faithful will remain. Be still, my soul, your best, your heavenly friend. The through thorny ways leads to a joyful end. May you find the rest you need.